Hello guys, it's Nikolai here. In today's video, I want to talk about a game called Burning Land. It's an upcoming first-person tactical shooter based on Vietnam era, recently launched on Kickstarter, getting funds to develop the game. I covered this game three years ago. I was one of the first YouTubers in their Discord channel, along with the fellow YouTuber called Moi Dog, and Moi is able to confirm the story that I'm about to tell you. I was interested to become a creative partner for this game, meaning that I will be ready to advertise their game. I wanted this game to be successful, just like I wanted Squad to be successful, making videos of their upcoming updates, example. So I met with this guy, James Bra, the guy behind the studio that is developing the Burning Lands game. I covered his Australian faction mod for Squad many years ago. Nowadays, it's an official faction for Squad because Squad purchased that mod off him. He got a little bit money off that. Someone said he bought the Yetski with that money. Who knows? So anyway, I become a creative partner for Burning Land. So I made one video about it, talking about the game, showcasing different models of the game, and plan was to be the first guys playing and sharing content of this game as soon as we will be offered to play this game. And uh, now the story is taking really weird direction. After the first video was published, the CEO of Burning Land started forcing the creative partners to create content, in, including Moidoc, uh, share more content of the models they've been creating. There was no gameplay to be showed at this point. This happened three years ago. My response to him was, I'm too busy, I'm waiting for the gameplay footage. And he started getting really rude with me. He sent he this to me, uh, really lame. I was hoping a four minute video trying to help us uh, spread the world uh, word again. Um, gameplay will come soon as, uh, gameplay will come soon, but I can't go giving you all the goodies straight away. Uh, if you are only helping uh, so you can get a free copy or <laughs> access to the early chest, then may have to rethink. These comments just prove that this guy don't know any, anything about mar marketing the game. This, this is the worst way to work with with the content creators, like period. This is crazy. And I even told Big Fry three years ago, a uh, fellow tactical, uh, tactical content creator, uh, I told him uh, never talk about this game. The CEO of this game is crazy. And they will uh, most likely fail with this project if this guy continues leading this team. So our chat log continues uh, like this, uh, he keeps sending messages, make a video, did you see all the new models we have created, there was like a helicopter model, so uh, like a really short like uh, maybe like a pro prototype uh, um, footage of a helicopter flying and so on. Um, I left the community shortly after this incident, uh, saying I don't like to be part of the uh, part of the creative partner. Uh, oh, hold on, saying I don't like to be part of the creative partner for the game. If you think you can just push us to make more content of this game, but I will be waiting for this game. And since then, I have never talked with him anymore. He didn't even respond. Uh, nowadays, they have a bunch of uh, smaller creators as uh, creative partners. Uh, many of them uh, play hella loose. Uh, God bless you all. Hopefully, nobody is forcing you to publish any footage of the Burning Lands. I really hope that you know the value of your channel. So the reason why I wanted to make this video. Today, I woke up and I read a statement from the Burning Lands team saying that uh, they will quit the project. Uh, there was an issue with the management, not enough transparency, a uh, bunch of other stuff, and the team did not want to. Uh, they, the team didn't want the Kickstarter to go live. They wanted to delay it before all the issues have solved inside the team. Um, but the CEO did it anyway. The the Kickstarter went live, uh, which is a big red flag. It's just I started thinking if they don't have a team to develop the game and. They are taking almost one hundred thousand uh, dollars. Now it's like probably sixty thousand, but it was almost like one hundred thousand at some point. Um, it's a red flag. Like, uh, are they just gonna pocket the money, or what's gonna happen? Is the game actually gonna, you know, like meet the goals that we've been promised? It's crazy. Um, um, but it's also really good that the people are uh, now refunding their money. It's going down, uh, which is exactly what people should be doing. At this point, it smells like a scam. This 
Kickstarter campaign has been delayed by over a year based on the information that I have received three years ago. But anyway, the recent announcement from the CEO, they continue developing the game with the funds or not, but they haven't stopped the Kickstarter campaign. The best thing to do is to report the page. Uh, I will leave a link down below. I already did it because I'm, I'm tired of these Kickstarters. Uh, there is 13 days before this uh, scam is happening. Um, unless people are refunding. Um, but there's still, still like 60,000, so I don't think it's gonna happen. Uh, my take on this, don't go on these Kickstarter campaigns. Either it's a tactical shooter game or open world survival game, just don't, don't do it. I've seen this so many times. Uh, we have seen uh, from Audio BI, Off World Industries, the guys that made uh, Squad, uh, they had many games, many dead games, if you start thinking about it. I'm not gonna bring, bring them up right now. This is all about Burning Lands. But you kind of like realize that we don't really have a room for all these tactical games. We already have Squad, we have Hella Luz, we, we had Postscriptum dead. Um, you know, like, even if we have an Operation Harsh Doorstop, it's a free game. Um, it's been developed by Blue Drake 42 and his community. And um, how, how how the hell we have a room for all this? And now we have another Kickstarter campaign. Having funds for this amazing Vietnam experience. On Operation Harsh Doorstop, we, we, we're gonna have it up for free. Uh, squad will have uh, uh, Vietnam mod and then we have burning lands burning lands like imagine they they don't even have a team working team at the moment and, and people are supporting them like this it's just I just don't understand um, I would not give my money for the person that is absolutely idiot really bad leadership and it was really disturbing how we, he was treating me and the boy dog and probably many other content creators uh, three years ago. I, I bet there has been many content creators left that community. Um, when Burning Lands was just a concept, like three years ago, it was just a concept of the large scale combined arms Vietnam game. And we, we were getting a treatment like that when we were just trying to help. But the guy is crazy, I'm telling you. That's all. Hopefully you'll report that page. I really hope that game is not gonna happen. If, it, if it's gonna happen, I, I bet it's gonna die. Because there's just no room for such a game. But yeah, that's all. Thank you. Bye.